right to you guys this is a bonus reading and it will be an exciting one we will look into all the signs Mars in Gemini energy if you haven't heard of this transit I mean it is the only thing that astrologers are talking about which is the transit that is happening in Gemini or Mars in Gemini basically this will not be astrology but I will give you a glimpse into that but this will be tarot okay tarot predictions now remember when I say predictions you have every power to change that prediction when you are represented with that opportunity so I will tell you what might happen and then you have the choice of using that power or that awareness to make the desired outcome in your life all right so we all know mars is the god of war mars represents the action desire energy passion and when it's in gemini it will amplify it because mars is fire i mean it air i mean wait let me rephrase that so mars is the ruling planet for aries aries is a fire sign and when it's in gemini gemini is an air sign so the gemini energy will amplify the aries energy or the mars energy so it'll be more action more desire more energy more passion but also with the gemini touch which basically will amplify the energy through communication and knowledge okay but also beware of gossip overindulgence and mental distress because these are the keter ke oh my god i can't say that word now characteristics 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 <laughs> These are the characteristics of the Gemini. So when it's in Mars or when Mars is in Gemini, there is a good side and a bad side. There's a good side and a bad side. If I can talk, I mean, woo, I feel like it's, by the way, the energy has already begun. It started on the 20th of August and it will last until March 2023, you know, seven months of this transit. This is a long one, okay? That's why you will feel this energy for a while. So I thought this needs to be covered. Let's see in those seven months, what are the energies in each sign and what, what kind of prediction and advice do we have for you? And I hope this helps you kind of navigate through this crazy seven months that are coming <laughs> because it can get crazy especially especially okay for the fire signs if you are aries <clears throat> or uh, leo sagittarius especially sagittarius because you are a mutable sign gemini is a mutable sign so it can fire you up in so many ways so fire signs be careful because the air what happens when you add oxygen to your fire yeah exactly your fire grows and that can be good or bad it can go either way it can go to ex extremes right so make sure it goes into the good direction all right i feel like i've covered everything regarding that now let's start with the reading shall we Let's start with the reading. Let me smoke because I can feel the energy. As a Sagittarius, I can feel the energy just really intensifying. And I can feel the, the, the freaking, like, um, it's like the heat is rising in me and around me. All right. We will use tarot, and this is the life purpose um, oracle as well. I thought that would come hand. That would cut. Uh, I thought that will be useful because we will be looking at that. Okay. I mean, love. If love comes through, of course we will read it. But I thought this would be a great addition, especially for this transit. 
now as always we'll start with Sagittarius Sagittarius <coughs> Sagittarius please show me the energy that might occur for Sagittarius during this Mars in Gemini transit we have author we have time to decide and travel funny I was looking at flights earlier and this comes up all right let's take what we have now let's take these love and love light and love or love and light and options you know that that resonates so much with the mars and gemini energy i mean <clears throat> i was i was called to use this deck so that's why it felt right and it feels right right sagittarius let's look at let's look at that in the next seven months you will be having the urge to write your thoughts and I recommend that so much even if it's just journaling even if it's not for your professional life do this for yourself because when Mars is in Gemini like I said in the intro it will amplify your knowledge and your communication relating to your passion to your energy and your action so when you put your thoughts into um, pen and paper you will have more you will make sense of them okay and it will be beneficial especially at this time you will have decisions to make we will look into that and you will have travels in the next seven months as well and this is kind of giving me the energy of advice you know you have to keep yourself in check focus on the good be the optimistic self that you are and focus on the good side of things instead of the bad side of things because like i said in the intro the energy can do like can pull you towards extremes and choose the good extreme okay instead of the bad extreme you will have options here as well and i feel like that ties to your <clears throat> decision there is something about you making decisions regarding your next moves or your next move in the seven months I say moves because it feels like it's more than one decision it feels like it's more than one change and especially because it's in Gemini it's a mutable sign it's all about that adaptability and you are a mutable sign as well you are in the opposition of the Gemini which makes this energy especially intense for you use that to your advantage instead of let's the energy use you you know what I mean all right <clears throat> let's see what the tarot has to say about time to decide Time to decide who you allow in your energy. Time to really be honest with yourself, who you let in your energy and who you don't. Because I feel like there are people in your life that you know that need to go, okay? And I say when they need to go in the sense where they might bring your energy down, pull you towards or have bad influence on your energy or, or pull you towards things that you don't want to indulge in this could be also over indulgence over spending being the proper consumer so keep an eye on that you need to kind of recheck yourself recheck your habits behaviors and make sure that it is matching what you desire for yourself in your future okay because this opportunity will allow you to see things especially with gemini energy to see things for, for what they are logically instead of emotionally okay 
<clears throat> yeah, I feel like that's that. Let's see. I do want to see what travel is about because I am personally pulled towards that energy. Like literally today I felt the need of going somewhere. All right. Yeah. Or planning for travel. Let's see. So if you if you want to plan for travels, it will be successful. It will uh, be a good change for you. But also keep in mind the the time that you choose to rest in, you will have to kind of double the workload when you're back. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Yes, it is okay to take rest or take a break or you know escape the reality, as they say, but. Make sure that you do that only to renew, only to double the work when you're back. You know, if this is like traveling during work, it will be successful with the three of pentacles because you will have people that you meet during your travels that will have some type of influence on your career or on your reputation, your recognition in your work. Um, so, I see successful um, collaborations here, which is great, great to see. If this is relating traveling or relating to your work, if you're traveling for work, you know? Let's see your options. Let's see your options. Why is options here? Mm hmm this is regarding your love all right okay you will have options between the past and the future so what I mean by that is that there will be people that come from the past to try to do or make things right with you but you will also have the option of new people coming in your life and basically you will have to make the decision of going back to the past person or moving forward and choosing the new people so i see that you have feelings or good feelings regarding both energies but the choice will be yours because these options are represented to you so that you have the choice to make that decision okay so it's basically giving you the free will to decide which direction to go the past or the past people that will return in your life or the new the people that are sent to you that you've never met or will be meeting okay now let's pull advice and we'll close your reading. Give me advice regarding the energy in the next seven months for Sagittarius. Communication. <laughs> I mean, Mars in Gemini, the communication card. Okay, speak your truth, speak your truth as gently as possible okay i was gonna say as gently but there is the temperance as gently as possible you don't know everything so before you speak if you're not sure about what you're speaking of make sure that you study make sure that you learn everything that you need to know before you speak your mind okay because like i said mars in gemini can amplify the energy and make you rush to talk and you are a Sagittarius you talk bluntly anyway right you rush to talk right so it's the energy is like don't rush to talk make sure you have all the details before you open your mouth basically okay Sagittarius in the most kindest way possible <laughs> I mean that is not the kindest way to tell you this but it's telling you to be uh, like don't be afraid to speak your mind but also make sure you that you check in with yourself make sure that you go over the details before you speak your mind okay because that will be beneficial for the opportunities that will come your way all right so that will work in your favor all right I feel like that is your message this will take me forever to finish because uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, 
Sagittarius, this is for you. I'm going to have to rush it for the other signs because I don't plan on sitting here 15 minutes for each sign, okay? Okay, but Sagittarius is an exception because you are my top viewer. All right. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's move. Wow, the energy is so intense. I am sweating like I am like on a treadmill or something. Leo, 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 Leo. Show me Leo's energy in the next seven months while the while Mars is in Gemini, please. Show me the energy for Leo in the next seven months, please. We have nutrition. Justice. And travel, you have that in common with Sagittarius. Now, I forgot, guys, for those that are watching um, on the replay or live, just remember to check your um, rising sign, more importantly, especially, because this is like a material prediction, um, and your moon sign as well as your sun sign. So, rising or ascendant moon and sun sign so it's not just sun sign people watch i know that now leo i'm al already getting like in the next seven months you will improve your health your diet the things that you do um wait my my cat sneezed are you okay The things that you do uh, for your body, for your own health and well-being, like this lady is, um, you know, cooking homemade. Maybe you should stop ordering or takeaways or uh, bringing shitty food into your system. Like, I feel like there will be a focus here on your nutrition or the uh, things that you put in your body, okay? Now, I am curious about justice here and travel. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me why is justice here? This is regarding the home. Okay. All right. Maybe you are dealing with um, some type of legal matter with someone that you once called your lover okay this may, this also might be a family member so it's a loved one whether it's a family member or a, an ex lover i see here that there's some type of legal um situation here that will work in your favor as i was asking that internally okay so Okay, so this hassle with that loved one that is going against you in the justice system will work in your favor eventually in the next seven months. <clears throat> yes. So if you're going through any legal matter, Leo, it will work in your favor in the next seven months. That is a really good news here. That will make you feel very happy. I'm very satisfied with the results as well. I want to see what the travel is doing here in your energy. Mm. You might go on a holiday after you finish with this bullshit that you're going through with the legal system. You might take, you know, some time away to kind of renew, refresh your energy with Empress and the Ace of Wands. You know, you just want to go and freshen up and lighten up. I feel like that will do your energy lots of goodness because with the Mars in Gemini, it's very much supports your passion and it will amplify or put oxygen to your fire as we said in the intro okay because 
Ace of Wands is all about passion, and that will be amplified while you are traveling or going for, even if it's like not, even if it's like a local place where you haven't been before, it will still be beneficial to your energy. It will still make you renew your energy and it will be such a refresher after maybe a very stagnant time. All right, yeah. You will look forward to this. I feel like a lot of you are looking forward to just go away and not worry about anything or your obligations. You just want to forget about that. It's like a little escapism here, but it will be very beneficial to your energy. Give me advice for Leo during these or the next seven months. Give me advice for Leo, please. Okay, so what I see here already, um, Leo, it's telling you whatever that has happened to you, it is for your own good. So even the shitty things that happened to you in your life recently, that will change because it, it was working in your favor. So even if it was perceived to be bad, it's a good thing. So it's a blessing in disguise, basically. It's telling you that whatever that you went through is actually for you, it's not to you. And I feel like the moment you realize this, because this is a changed perspective with the hangman, the moment you realize this, the more you will be open to see the world differently and to be grateful for it to happen to you the way it happened to you, okay? Because this allowed you to cut cords with contracts or karmic, karmic contracts that you were tied to, okay? Yeah, look at that. This will be beneficial to your energy. So be grateful. It's like there is gratitude here that is uh, being mentioned here. Um, be grateful for what happened to you because it is actually for your own good. Okay, all right, let's move to Aries. Show me the energy that will occur for Aries in the next seven months during the transit or during Mars going into or being in, in Gemini. Okay, let's see. We have protected career change and leadership. Wow, wow. I mean, Mars and Gemini, that's that's the energy what I'm like this is exactly the energy of Mars and Gemini. It will make some changes come through, okay? I feel like you will have changes that will be perceived as hard, Aries, but these hardships are actually to push you towards some type of leadership, some type of position or status that is way better than you have imagined. And that will require the change to happen. That will require for you to go through hardship so that when you reach there, it is a position that is not for everybody. It is earned. Okay. And that's why it's hard. Let's see why protected is here. Why is protected here, please? You are protected from people that are just going to waste your time, okay? You will see right through them. Yeah, look at that. You will see false uh, soulmates or people that will pretend to be your soulmate, but they are not. Wow, with the Six of Cups as well. Look at that. You will receive some type of... Um, download or a perspective that will allow you to see through the bullshit of others and that is the gemini energy you know the the, the knowledge the logical 
knowledge where you see through things logically and for what they are instead of uh, under uh, the emotions, right? Because the lovers and the six of cups is here. So this is all about the emotions. So you will receive some type of clarity when it comes to your love life, which will protect you from people that have bad intentions or bad tendencies to have a bad influence on you. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, which will protect you again with the nine of cups. Well, will protect your heart at least. Now, let's see the career change and leadership because I feel like these two are connected. Let's see. Yes, yes. All right, all right. You will change. Like I said, it won't be easy, but you will change the things that are holding you back. So if there is any trait in you that is uh, a self-sabotage energy or an energy that's holding you back, any habit that you've been going through that is in the way of you accomplishing what you want to accomplish in life, that will go away because you will receive this clarity, especially with the magician. You will see you will not only see through people, but you will also see through you, Aries, which is a beautiful thing to see. You will see through yourself as well and the things that you are doing that you know are bad, but you continue on doing it based on desire or based on impulsiveness. But with the Mars in Gemini, it will allow you to see things differently from a logical place instead of an emotional space. So it's a beautiful uh, change and transition here because this will help you be in the uh, leadership position where you upgrade regarding your career and it will allow you to be able to change the traits that are holding you back from reaching your own goals. So you will make the necessary changes to be better, to act better, to say better, to, to, you know, like it's all, it's all the good things. Like you will change yourself to fit your goal, whatever that goal is. Okay. Yes. Okay. So any self-sabotage, anything that you've been doing that you know is a bad thing to do, but you dismiss it as well, whatever, blah, blah, that will go away. That will go away because you will get this clarity that will preventing you from seeing it any other way. Like you will see it for what it is and you will be pushed to um, change it so that you go or accomplish your goals in life. Beautiful. Very powerful too. Because the devil is in reverse. Okay, so this tells me that you will cut the bullshit and really look at yourself in ways where you make the necessary changes um, to be able to reach your goals without any more delays. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's do Virgo. Virgo. Show me the energy for Virgo during Mars in Gemini during the seven months. Light and love or love and light. Study. Wow, it's such a, <laughs> it's such a Virgo energy. Study. Like Gemini will be that knowledge and Virgo is that curiosity, that analytic curiosity. So Virgo with Gemini energy is perfect, okay? It is a perfect energy to uh, be in. I feel like Virgo, you will have a lot to benefit from this Mars in Gemini because it will give you that curiosity, that push, that eagerness to learn, okay? And it's coming through of, like, it's coming through in ways where you will enjoy studying or enjoy learning. I feel like some of you could actually go back to studies, but I feel like it's, you don't even have to go to university to learn something new, right? But there will be this trigger where you want to learn about things, where you want to study things. Your curiosity will be very much triggered. Okay, let's 
see. I feel like these two are related or they're connected here. Love and light and energy healing. Let me see. Tell me about these two. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you will go through... Okay, so you will basically go through um, situations that you've gone through in the past and you will give it another look, another analysis, okay? And that is something Virgos do, okay? You will kind of go over the experiences or, or maybe go through them as in like relive them to make sense of them but only with love and understanding so it's not like you will go back and then you re you will relive the grief or relive the sadness no 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 you will have the intention to close that door for good you will give it the final understanding you will give it the almost like an excuse so that you can fully move on from it so it's like you will make peace with your past during this time because I feel like you will have so much clarity and you will use your analytical um, uh, traits or yeah like being analytical is a Virgo thing okay so you will use that to get rid of anything that's been holding you back yeah you will fully and fully and completely close things that have been lingering in the back burner of your mind. And that is relating to your emotional side of things instead of your work or career. I feel like this has to do with people that you've been with intimately, whether family, friends or lovers, okay? This will allow you to move away from all the bad things and see it in the light of love, love and light. You will, you will give it love and light energy, you know, you will make peace with that. And that energy will heal you, energy healing. You will finally make peace with it or, with, or, or peace with it. Let's see study. Why is study here? Why is study here for Virgo? Ooh, like I said, look at that, the full. You will want to <laughs> you will want to know everything about everything you come across that triggers your curiosity. Oh my god, yes. You could actually fall uh, upon subjects and topics where you're very much interested and you will get ideas which will kind of uh, bring you opportunities that you've never thought you would be part of. Such a beautiful energy. Look at that. Yes. This is curiosity. The page of cups. Curiosity. Learning. Wanting to learn. Intr intriguing kind of energy here when it comes to your study or the study card. So Virgo, I see you kind of using this Mars in Gemini to um, learn something new. Maybe learn something new to the, to the point where you actually get ideas and make it some type of an opportunity or attract an opportunity that is related to that subject. Beautiful. I see beautiful energy here for you in the next seven months, Virgo. Oh, very good. All right. I just heard... <laughs> I just heard Virgo as well, spread your seeds, spread your seeds. <laughs> this, this Mars and Gemini will bring you some type of expansion and it's, it's kind of makes sense, spread your seeds, because think about it, what happens when there is windy days on earth? It makes the seed travel to extended grounds so that you can plant those seeds, right? 
Oh my God, the analogy. Thank you, Spirit. Whoever gave me this message, thank you. So this is like a beautiful analogy. What does Gemini? A Gemini is an air sign and you are a Virgo, earth sign. So what does air do to the earth? It moves its seed on a windy day so that it goes on to further lands and further grounds for the seeds to plant itself when there is a rainy day, right? So it's a beautiful, beautiful analogy, especially with the study card, because that will expand your ground, expand your knowledge, bring more opportunities, aka plant your seeds. Beautiful. Oh my God. I am a Virgo moon and I claim this energy. <laughs> uh, there's enough for everybody. I, I heard someone, no, it's me. It's for me. All right, let's let's see. Let's see. Um, we're moving. We're moving to Taurus. Give me a second, guys. I This is taking me longer than expected. And I need a cigarette because the energy is intense yet very... Very supreme, whatever that means. Ooh, I am sweating. <coughs> I need water as well. Never mind my box. Oh my god. Ooh, I am literally sweating like I am at the gym. Okay, let's see. Never mind me seeing, <laughs> never mind seeing me roll. <clears throat> I better not stay for two hours for these all signs. It will take forever to upload. That's why I try to keep it short, you know? But let's see, let's see. We'll try to keep it shorter. All right. All right, Virgo, I actually forgot to um, give you advice. Is there advice for Virgo regarding the energy during the next seven months? Let's see. Oh, just be you because you are, you will be in the perfect energy to do whatever that we spoke about. So it's like, no, you're good, you're good. Don't change anything, just do that. Just do what you've been doing or do what you will be feeling impelled to do. Impelled? Impelled, is that a word? But I'm hearing impelled. Impelled? Why does that word sound strange? Impelled. I don't know. It's it's weird. Impelled. The more I say it, the more it makes no sense. So I'm gonna stop. But impelled. <laughs> uh, yeah. So just you will be in the perfect energy. So spirit is like, no, you don't need it. Probably that's why I forgot to give it to you. All right. All right. Taurus. We have 101 on the clock. 101 for Taurus. Right, let's see. Show me the energy that Taurus will be in when Mars or during Mars in Gemini in the next seven months. We have protected. If you have Aries in your chart, 
Taurus, I suggest you see that as well. And we have Love and Light, or Light and Love. I think it's it's like a typo. And we have Teaching. I'm feeling like I need to pull one more, so I'm gonna. And animals. I mean, you are the bull, so it makes so much sense to be connecting with animals during the next seven months. You might get a pet, a dog or a cat, or maybe something more exotic. But I'm getting a pet because you see that tiger, that's why I said more exotic, because you could get something more exotic, I guess. I feel like, Taurus, the energy for you will be beneficial to you in ways where you kind of, uh, it's kind of like, um, it will support your strength, whatever that means, because I feel like it will empower you, okay? It will empower you in ways where you will be able to, like, other people will look at you and they will want to be in your company because your energy will be empowering. So let's see, let's see what Protected is about. You will be protected from people that have already... Um, yeah, you will be protected from people that, uh, that are from the past. So during this time, Taurus, you will let go, finally, of people that you've cut off of out of your life because spirit will uh, create this barrier between you and them. It's, it's being final, basically. So these people will have no access to you during the next seven months. You'll be protected from them because you've made that decision to move from them. And that is final. I mean, when you decide something, you are the Taurus, the bull, the stubborn. So it will be final, 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 you know, like double final. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I feel like love and light and teaching are connected. Let's see. Wow. 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 You will be, I feel like you will have, you will give love to people that are not your lovers. So they, these are possibly your family members, your friends. I feel like your uh, relationship with your friends and family members will strengthen. There is someone special, I feel like here, but you know, like a soulmate, it doesn't always have to be a lover. It can also be a family member, a pet, since animals are here or is here. Um, so I feel like you will extend your love to the people around you. You will be more um, family oriented during this time. I feel like you will strengthen your connections with your family, with your friends, with the people that are close to heart. And it's, it's not in the traditional sense where it's a romantic connection. I don't feel it's a romantic connection. I feel it's more of a, of a friendly connection or a, a family connection. Okay. <clears throat> Why is animals here? <laughs> you could have an animal that you feel connected to on a spiritual level and that might even sound daft but it's not okay it's very much real um i feel like <laughs> i feel like you will get a pet and you will be like why have i not thought about that before because this pet will heal you I don't know if you can see the star card. This pet will heal you. <laughs> I feel like you will be like, who needs who needs a romantic connection when you have a pet that is uh, 
loyal and that loves you unconditionally. Like, he, I feel like there will be, like, a not weird connection with your pet, but it's like a very close connection to the pet you will get. Or maybe you already have a pet, because I'm hearing that you already have a pet, but it's that, that's, that's for some of you, okay? Where you have already a pet, but that connection will strengthen during the seven months. You will take this pet everywhere. You will be like, you will be inseparable. Like, <laughs> you might even take that uh, connection to the next level where you talk to your pet and feel you can talk to your pet or that they, they talk to you, you know? Like, you will feel like this strong connection with your pet. And I don't know why this is coming through, but I guess it's just letting you know, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully nothing weird there. Hopefully nothing weird. But um, let's pull advice for you, Taurus. What is the advice for Taurus during the seven months? Is there any advice for Taurus? Let's see. Okay, Taurus, so your advice is not to close your heart fully just because you have the good things and good people in your life doesn't mean that you don't need a romantic connection. That is your advice. So basically, it's telling you, yes, you might have everything that you need. You might have people that care about you. You might, you know, not need anybody romantically. But just because you don't need someone doesn't mean you don't want someone. There's a difference between need and want. And it's telling you that it's okay, even if you don't need a romantic uh, partner, you still want it. You still secretly want it, if you, even if you don't show it, okay? Because I see here that... There is a part of you that's being buried within you to avoid the hurts. So your advice is to uh, give yourself a chance to think that it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to want someone, even if you don't need that someone. And I'm talking romantically because with your non-romantic connections, you have great connections. You have great people on your side, great pets, great company, great family, great friends. You know, you have the good package there, but it's missing the romance. Okay, so it's telling you it's okay to want romance, even if you don't need it. And that's that. All right. Okay, I feel hungry. Is that your energy, Taurus? Are you hungry? I mean, I know Tauruses are always hungry, even if they're full. <laughs> always, always nibbling on something. All right, let's move to Capricorn. The energy is so intense on my end. I can't even explain, you guys. I can't even explain. All right, let's do Capricorn. Capricorn. Show me the energy that Capricorn will be in. During Mars in Gemini period, during the next seven months. If you have Aries in your chart, I suggest you go and watch that because literally Aries got career change next to leadership. And we have school. I feel like I need to pull another one for you. Some of you might be going back to school during this time. <clears throat> or taking a test. And options. Yeah, okay, makes sense. 
going back to school will give you, uh, will open up your options. Okay, so let's look into those two and those two because I feel like this is connected and this is also connected. Let's see. Career change and leadership. Show me, please. Some of you could like go back to school in the sense where you get a promotion and you need to receive some type of training to be um, in that uh, position, but we'll see. <sighs> wow. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, I see you um I see you socializing and you will meet someone. I see you socializing and meeting someone that could be beneficial to your uh position or career or so what I see here is that you will meet someone during your social interactions so it's something that you haven't planned it's not something that you have planned okay so basically you will meet someone interesting while you're going out or something of that sort and then this person will offer you something This person might offer you a job way better than the job that you have. Or if you don't have a job, they will offer you a job and you'll be like, yes, this is exactly what I want. It feels like it is a great position for you because it feels like it, you will be in some type of management or some type of leadership that will allow you or make you manage other people. And you'll be very happy with that because, I mean, Capricorn in management? Oh, well. <laughs> that is such a Capricorn energy. <clears throat> I'm hearing like a side note as well. That this could be a person that you know. That you've been uh, involved with romantically, that they will offer you something because you haven't spoken to this person in a while, and then you meet them by coincidence, and then they will offer you something. Okay, I feel like that is a side message here. Ah, all right, let's look into school and options. Mm, this will upgrade you, this will make you uh, more. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? This will make you more um, capable or uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Help. Entitled? Capable? Uh, I, I can, like I can see the word, but I cannot think it. It's so weird. <laughs> ah, okay, so I'm gonna leave it. So, but it's like it will put you in a position where you will be able to upskill, and that upskill will make you um, like it will it will make you be make you be. You will be chosen, okay? Because it will it will it will filter you out from the competition. You know what I mean? So it will give you that. It will give you that. that like there is no there is no comparison, like between you and others. Like you will get the spotlight because of it. So whatever that you will be learning or going into training for or studying for will allow you to be way way ahead of your competition way ahead of your competition another learning card the ace of page is all about learning as well well it, it's not all about learning but it is one way to interpret the card so yes capricorn i feel like you will study something that will help you upgrade and set you apart from the competition which is exactly what you want because this could all relate to each other at the end because i feel like whatever that you will upskill will help you get that leadership position this feels more of a career reading here for you capricorn which is fair enough because you are an earth sign you couldn't give a fuck about love 
<laughs> but like you know career is more important than life I understand from the Capricorn perspective but that's what I'm seeing here for you okay during the seven months you will be upgrading in your career <sighs> all right all right let's see Aquarius Aquarius let's do Aquarius Show me the energy that Aquarius will be in during Mars in Gemini, during the next seven months, please. It's cool. Healer. I'm hearing a nurse, you could be a nurse. I mean, we have a nurse here on the card as well, or a doctor. But you could be going into nursing school or learning about um, like um, like a holistic I'm hearing holistic um, maybe like a herbalist or like alternative ways to heal Wow I feel like there there is a lot of uh, change in career and it makes so much sense because Gemini energy gives that uh, knowledge and upgrade and being adaptable to change. So it feels very much, um, it, I mean, it makes so much sense, you know? Ah, uh, okay, let's see. Um, I want to look into those cards. Let's see, where do I begin? I want to begin with these two first. Because I feel like they are related. So I feel like, uh, Aquarius, you will be studying something and then that study will give you options to uh, choose a career from or be in a position where you get paid more or where you feel that, that you have a purpose that you will help people. Let's see. School and healer. What is that about? Hmm. Yeah, you will team up with other people, help other people. Or learn to help other people. Let's see. Mm, this will give you some type of new perspective on helping others, perhaps, or your own perspective about your life purpose. I feel like you will find something that is very satisfying in your pursuit of, of this, the, the learning, the healing, the, the helping. You will, f you will feel like you, fo you found a new purpose. You know what I mean? Because you will feel like it is good. It feels good. You want to do it. And it's helping others. All right. Leadership and options. Mm, yes, look at that. That is, that is like, if you look at this card, this lady is helping this person and this person. This is like some type of management or someone that has the ability to help others through their position. So you do have like the ability to help others. So it's, if it's not management, it's some type of uh, position that will allow you to help others. So I feel like these all are related after all, whatever that you will be studying or upgrading your knowledge about will help others in ways where you will find um, satisfaction. You will find a new purpose. It will open doors for you as well. You even might you you might even meet someone that you fall in love with during the seven months because you will see that. Whatever that you're doing here, whatever this new purpose, new found purpose, and my uh, left eye is uh, twitching, I feel like you might you might find someone, or you might <clears throat> connect with someone that has the same kind of purpose. You might meet someone that is on this journey as well. Yeah, in the future, in the next seven months. 
Any advice for Aquarius during the next seven months? It's all about you and others. So if you've been in a, a period where, you know, you're looking after yourself, it's me, 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 myself and I, it's, it's the next seven months is all about you serving others and being of service to others. And you will find that it is very satisfying, very fulfilling because you're not just helping yourself, but helping others in the process. So your next seven months, Aquarius, will be all about your yourself and the community that you're in <clears throat> don't overthink your decisions don't overthink your destiny because i feel like you could have a change of purpose and you're feeling like oh maybe i am getting off track you're not you're not okay it is just a new chapter that you are meant to be going through so whatever that you're uh, past perceived purpose was it is changing for a reason and is changing because you are ready to change you know what I mean so it's almost like telling you just because you had a different purpose doesn't mean that this new purpose newfound purpose is not the right purpose because you can jump lifetimes in one lifetime if you have accomplished your past lifetime or when i say past i mean while well, in this life so if you have accomplished a, a life purpose in your life you you don't just go die you will jump into your next life uh, life purpose so you could uh, finish few lifetimes in one Okay, so you could jump lifetimes in one lifetime is what I'm trying to tell you here. So if you feel a shift, it's because it's time to make that shift and it's time and it feels right. If it feels right, never question it, never go into your head and doubt it because that is the ego, that is fear, that is not the actuality of the reality that you are in or experiencing. Okay. And that's that for Aquarius. I feel like the next seven months for all the signs seems to be, I mean, I've done the uh, fire and earth so far, but <clears throat> it feels like a lot of people are going through true life changes and it is a positive one but it can be scary because it's a shift and that's okay it's it's actually a long transit seven months is life-changing right if you are in that energy for seven months it, it will naturally have an influence on you now i want to look into gemini gemini let's see i mean mars and gemini let's see how that affects you gemini i'm curious Does that cancel out your sign? Does that make you an Aries for the next seven months? <laughs> Let's see. Show me the energy uh, for Gemini during Mars in Gemini in the next seven months. We have you are on the right path. So <laughs> all right, that's not biased at all since Mars is in Gemini. You get to have the easy ride nutrition okay okay and oracle cards Ooh, like i said i'm getting this fire energy you could be an aries for the next seven months because i feel like whenever there's a planet in your own sign it cancels you out maybe you check your moon if you have a fire moon especially this will apply to you because i feel like gemini aries energy since mars is it rules aries will be your theme here <clears throat> and i feel like it's to do with energy passion and desire for you so whatever that you desire whatever that your energy is curious about even if it's like uh, hubu jubu usually it will uh, be uh, focused on uh, during this time because I feel like you are like you are intellectual, you are logical. Gemini's are okay. You like to stick to logic, but because Mars is in your own sign, you will get a taste of the fire, baby. <laughs> 
and that could even mean that you will find new interest in learning about uh, the uh, non-matter things, you know what I mean? This could be quantum physics, this could be something that you don't see, you could be uh, learning more about spirituality or delving into your own spiritual journey and that is why you have you are on the right path let's see <clears throat> i mean straightforward i don't know if i want to conf uh, like clarify any card here let's see why nutrition is here yeah yeah you will be cutting anything that's been um affecting your health your well-being during the seven months, you will have the clarity and um, the download to make changes so that you improve your health or well-being. Yeah, any bad habit, any, anything, including act, including whether you say it, do it, or think it that will go away or I feel like I feel like it's more about cleansing for you in uh, during the seven months I feel like there will be a lot of um, shedding decluttering which will allow your spirit to get off or get the weight off you it's like your spirit is going on a diet basically this is what I'm trying to say you know what I mean your spirit will go on a diet I feel like that explains it very well and that diet will help you see things differently you will feel better you will act better you will see things better it will give you clarity it will give you well a wellness it will give you new perspectives it will intrigue you to look into spirituality even more okay <clears throat> oh that these two want to come out yeah okay so all the confusion and the overthinking will go away during the next seven months nice like I said, that is the clarity. You, your confusion will clear out and your overthinking will clear out, which will allow you to see things differently. Maybe this is the fire that will be highlighted in your energy because your Gemini will be cancelled out by the, the planet of Mars. Interesting. Now, let's see, is there advice for Gemini for the next seven months? You can run, but you cannot hide, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> you can run, but you cannot hide. Oh my god, okay. This might be regarding a love situation or a home situation. You have to deal with the things that are not working out for you. So if there is a connection here that you feel has expired or you feel that you need to have this serious talk about where you stand with each other or if you are still on the same page, this is the time to do the confrontation. This is the time where you to sit and speak from the heart. Because like I said, your, your, your Gemini sign will be at its lowest because you have Mars in your energy. So use the Mars energy to connect, to speak from the heart. Because fire signs will speak from the heart. Okay, so use that fire energy that will be in your life for the next seven months to improve your life overall, Gemini. All right, damn. I'm gonna have to speed up. But the thing is, sometimes I get messages I cannot shorten, you know? Like, that's the thing. What was I expecting? All right, let's do Libra. Libra, show me the energy for Libra. During Mars and Gemini in the next seven months, we have light and love, or love and light and protected. 
and you are on the right path. Damn. I feel like for the air signs, the it's like it's like there's some type of ascension spiritually happening for the air signs with Mars in Gemini. It's so it's so it's so satisfying to see actually because it feels like it's needed, you know? Because air signs can be uh, too logical for their own good. You know? But, I don't know. This feels like some type of awakening or some type of redirection towards your awakening. Let's see. I feel like these, all these cards are connected. What is this about? Please confirm. Wow, I had a glimpse at the uh, star as well. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Two of Swords, that is your uh, energy, Libra. Okay, wow. Even though I don't see the Hermit, I feel the Hermit energy here. I feel the, uh, the Hermit energy here. You could go into Hermit mode for the next seven months, Libra. I mean, I don't know if Libras like that. I've never met a Libra that likes to go um, in solitude, but seems like in the next seven months, uh, you might be forced into going into solitude. Because there is, there is something about your perspective that is being downloaded to you. And I feel like you need to be in solitude for it to um, download properly. Obviously in solitude, I don't mean that you will stay at home and you will see nobody. I feel like you will uh, limit access to everybody. So you will be less social, you will be going out less, you will be uh, maybe um, going in nature more, you will have a bit of um, outbursts where you, you know, like you feel like you want to interact, but the moment you go and interact with others, you'll feel like a bit drained because your higher self is telling you, no, 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 at this time you are very sensitive and very vulnerable. You need to be alone. I feel like you will have someone that comes from your past as well, but that will not, you know, that will not go far. Okay, that will not go far because this person will try to come back. But yeah, it's not going anywhere. Look at that. You'll be like, no, I would rather wait and be single than have you back in my life. <laughs> you will be self-focused here. Self-development I see for you, Libra. all about that self-awareness, self-development. You will have moments of outbursts and that's natural, You're, you're only human. But overall, I see that spirit will be on your side. I feel like the connection between you and your higher self will be stronger during this these seven months. So make the most of it because this is where you connect to your higher self to do better so that when you come out of that, you will have a new perspective and it will be downloaded to your consciousness properly. This feels like some type of ascension, okay? And it feels like if you do this right, you will stay ascended, if that makes sense. You will not slip away. Now, you might have setbacks and that's okay. These setbacks are normal. But in a way, it's telling you, you know, make the most of this energy, all right? Now, I mean, this really wants it to come out. Yeah, you will, you will have opportunities open up for you as well because you will have that new perspective. So you will attract the right people, the right opportunities, the right circumstances to align with what you want in life, to what aligns with you and your life purpose. Beautiful energy. Let's see, give me advice for a Libra during the next seven months, please. Mm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Chariot, of course. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so after this ascension, I feel like, Libra, you will be able to help others understand things better. So you, your intuition will be heightened or your intuition will, will receive some type of upskill. Okay, so I see you upgrading in your intuition. But the thing here is, like during this time, it's telling you to trust your intuition more, to trust your heart more, to trust your gut feeling more, to trust that the spirit around you is helping you and it's, you're not neglected. You know what I mean? So it's kind of showing you the future you in this reading. It's not the future you in the seven months, but the future you after the seven months. If you stay on that path, if you listen to your higher self, because you your journey is being protected from others that could jeopardize that. Even from yourself. Because there is a bit of confusion and, and setbacks on your end. The spirit will help you overcome it. To allow you to move to your next self. Next self, by that I mean your higher self being downloaded to your consciousness. So that when you finish this journey, or by the end of the seven months, by the end of this transit, Mars in Gemini, you'll be like a new person. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Whew. We have water left. Oh, kind of, kind of hit the camera there. All right, let's see, let's see. Pisces, Pisces. Show me the energy for Pisces during Mars and Gemini in the next seven months, please. We have freedom. Who doesn't love a bit of freedom? Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. And protected. Uh, ripple in the water, I'm hearing for you, Pisces. Ripple in the water. I feel like the Gemini energy will cause a ripple in the water. I mean, Gemini is air, you are water, right? So the Gemini energy will cause a ripple in your water but in, in a good way okay in a good way don't worry because we have good cards here we have freedom we have protected and teaching all right let's look into those three cards shall we <sighs> tell me about freedom for Pisces during the seven months Ooh, you will have freedom from a situation that has ended or will be ending in those seven months. This will free you. What is this? This, whatever the situation was burdening your energy, it was making you, it, it was making you constantly think about that person or that situation and it was burdening your energy you couldn't see anything beyond that yes you couldn't see anything beyond that you felt blocked stagnant but that is ending in the next seven months for you okay or already ended and you could feel the transition into feeling lighter yeah look at that yeah, whatever that has been blocking you, making you feel stagnant, that's gone. That's going away. Whether you left it or they left you, whether this situation left you or the situation ended or you are ending it, Pisces, it will give you freedom. It will free you. 
So you will have a situation that will finally go away in the next seven months. So remember when I said ripple in your water? That's exactly that. It will cause a ripple in your water, but in a good way. Okay, that ending is that ripple. <clears throat> Let's see, protected. Justice, we'll get some type of justice for going uh, through what you've gone through. The truth will come out and will be exposed and it will clear your name. Ooh, it, ooh, star. You'll be recognized for it. So if someone has wronged you of, or done something that was unnoticed for a long time, they will be exposed during Mars and Gemini, baby. Justice will be served. You will be protected from these people, the people that have wronged you or the situation that you've been wronged in, and your name will be cleared. We have teaching. You could uh, go into a position where you feel much more appreciated, much more worthy, much more stable in. Yeah, look at that. It will support you and make you feel independent where you don't need anybody. Your finances will line up. Your stability will be secured. Now, with teaching doesn't mean that you will be a teacher, but that could also be the case for some of you. But in a sense, it's like you will show others how you've done it. Because people will come to you and say, Pisces, how did you make it? What did you do? Teach us. These, these could be curious friends, family members, because they will see that you've overcome a situation and upgraded your life. At the same time, it will be like a it will be like a cause and effect. You you free yourself from this taunting blockage, and then you get rewards right after. Okay? Wow! Wow! Beautiful! Beautiful! I love that. I mean, my I always say my my sister is Sagittarius, so whenever I get a good reading for Pisces, I claim it for her. I wish it for her. All right, let's see. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces during this uh, those seven months. I'm hearing stay single and build your legacy. Stay single and build your legacy, Pisces, because you are not in a position where you can be distracted and you can be easily distracted. Don't argue that with me because I know you very well. Remember, sister Pisces. Okay, I know not every Pisces is the same, but my sister has actually Capricorn Moon. So she is a very stable, stable Pisces. But even with the Capricorn Moon, she's not very stable. Okay, so don't let others drag you and distract you from building your legacy. Use the seven months to focus on yourself, to develop yourself. And when you are in the position where you have already helped yourself and you want to help others, go ahead and do that. But do not allow the romance, the flirting or the, the encounters that could even feel fleeting distract you from your main goal. Okay, doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out and have fun, do that. Go out and have fun, but don't take anybody seriously. Don't allow someone to get too close and distract you from your main goal. Okay, and that's that for Pisces. Whew. Right, two more to go, two more. Because I'm getting like tired. I feel like my energy is like whew, depleted. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see. Show me Scorpio's energy during Mars in Gemini in the next seven months. We have speaker. I mean, uh, Gemini is all about communication. So speaker, leadership, and we have justice. Wow. Wow. 
And we have creative expression. Look at that. You could have some type of influence on people around you. Maybe you are the type of person that people listen to and that will amplify during the seven months. Maybe you are not uh, of this, like you are not the speaker type, but your communication will come on strong during the next seven months. Beautiful. Let's clarify though, speaker. I feel like No, let's let's do them separately. I don't feel a connection between them, but but they all could be connected to each other. Let's see. Speaker. Why is speaker here? Yeah, regarding your career. So you could do some type of presentation for your work. You could be chosen to do a presentation or talk to people. Uh, maybe you are in sales. Maybe you are in um, like a sales role where your speech will be important regarding your career. That will be very beneficial during this time. People will, uh, people around you will want to listen to you, Scorpio. People around you will recognize that you are of knowledge, that you speak of knowledge, you speak um, skillfully, you know. This will make uh, people around you um, listen to you, but also give you credit. Like people will listen to you, but also uh, share your knowledge with others. You know what I mean? Like they will quote, they will quote you. You know what I mean? Like they will say, oh, Scorpio actually said this and that to me and they will spread your word. Beautiful. Maybe that's how you transition into the leadership position. Let's see. Yes, you will have some type of collab collaboration coming through from that. Wow. Okay. Collaboration, working with others because you speak the truth and you do it so beautifully that people are like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Enticed. I'm hearing enticed. Okay. Oh my God, the magician. Yes, beautiful. Enticed. I mean, that, it, like, you will have that, that spell on people. Like, people will want to listen to you. Okay. Oh my God. This will take you to the next level in your career. So, your speech, your way to uh, of communication, especially with Mars and Gemini. Gemini is the communication sign, okay? So, it will have a, a really positive impact, especially if your career depends on your speech, okay? Let's see justice. Oh my god! I Before I even said just the devil came out. You will receive some type of justice when it comes to a devil that you've been... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a devil that you've been um, in touch with or uh, that you've dealt with. Okay, wow, wow. Three major arcanas for the justice card. Look at that. The devil, temperance, and the hermit. Spirit will be assisting you or giving you that justice regarding this devil. So, uh, justice will be served is what I'm hearing. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. I feel like this will shock the other person that has betrayed you or done something to uh, try to betray you. Oh my god, they will be shocked because you will hear about them uh, getting uh, their karma. You know? I feel like spirit might make you watch for entertainment purposes. <laughs> oh yes. Creative expression. Let's move on. What is that? Creative expression. You could be feeling creative at this time. You could like have a way of doing things and you know it works and you will continue on doing it. You will love what you do, whatever that you do. However you express yourself, Scorpio, you will love it. 
you will continue on loving it you see it working you see it pay it off you see it pay off and you will just continue on uh, more you know doing more of it and practicing more of it to continue on doing it I feel like you have so much support from spirit here there's a lot of major arcanas coming through when it comes to your life purpose or the energy that you will be going through in the next seven months. Beautiful. Beautiful. I see recognition. I see some type of upskilling, especially when it comes to your uh, speech. And there will be a motherfucker that gets their karma for uh, taking advantage of you or using you or betraying you, whatever they fucking did. They will... Uh, get uh, some type of whiplashing for it. Mm, beautiful. Alrighty. Last but not least, Cancer. <clears throat> cancer, show me the energy for Cancer during Mars in Gemini. In the next seven months, we have leadership. Whoa. We have nutrition, sensitivity, love and light, and you are on the right path. Okay, interesting. Um, so Cancer, the first thing I'm hearing is watch out for your moods. Don't let your moods decide uh, how you should act. Okay, so, so I see a bit of moodiness, especially with sensitivity. I feel like your intuition will be strong during this time. Strong, strong. But always choose the positivity. Always choose love and light. Always choose to be the bigger person. Because... You could fall a victim to 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 the you know the other extreme, which is sadness, grief, and loss, and whatever else that you can think of negatively. Um, and I feel like you have to be really careful and nurturing to yourself and taking care of yourself during the seven months. A lot of self care, self love, so that you avoid falling into the bad mood and the bad kind of um, side of the scale. You know, let's see leadership. What is leadership doing here for Cancer? Okay, it's so weird, but I'm hearing revenge. You could want to have like, um, You could want to um, kind of uh, take things into your own hand and try to do something to hurt the person that hurt you or have the upper hand. With the leadership, it's not a, a negative uh, card, but it's showing me a lot of uh, negative energy here. With the Knight of Swords, that is Aries energy and Aries is ruled by Mars. So Mars is in Gemini, so you need to really be careful about the things that you say because you are hurt. You could hurt yourself in the process or say too much that it's way out of line. That could really hurt someone and not in a good way, okay? So it's, it's in a way telling you to hold your tongue or not to say more than you should. Do not take things into your own hand. Let karma do its thing. If you feel like you've been wronged, karma forgets no one. Karma forgets no one. If you feel you've been wronged, just sit back and sip on your lemonade, baby. Don't act during Mars in Gemini. Not advised. Not advised one bit. Because it can really backfire. If you try to be karma, guess what? You will put yourself in karmic debt. You will tell karma that I want karma as well. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so you will get karma for being karma because no one becomes karma. Karma has its job and no one will take karma's job, you know? 
and focus on your nutrition focus on your self-care self-love it's it's in a way telling you forget about um, making plans to take revenge or um, to do things uh, that are out of your character because if this person has wronged you they will get karma especially with the wheel of fortune it can also represent karma what what goes up must come down you know so don't don't worry about what what happened to you or who wronged you worry about your well-being worry about upgrading worry about your self-care self-love because that's what matters at the end of the day if you feel bad or make yourself feel bad by choice guess what the other person that hurt you wins so why would you let them win look at that you have to take control of your emotions and sit your ass down because spirit will take care of it and not you okay oh my god look at that the justice card karma will take care of the person that hurt you you have nothing to do yourself to be justice you know whatever that they have done to you cancer it will be taken care of by spirit do not i repeat do not do anything on your end you sit back and sip on your lemonade like i said okay because you could really take it over the top and really get uh, really get bad karma for it so you don't want that because especially with Mars in Gemini it can be dangerous you could take things like it can be really extremes because Mars in Gemini can go really extreme so instead of going extremely bad go extremely good the best revenge is you doing well you upgrading your life you becoming better than the person that hurt you trust me because once you become that better person the universe will reward you for not being an asshole and trying to make them repay what they've done to you plus you will hear karma giving them a good whiplash giving them a good lesson giving them a good a good experience to break them because no one gets away with it the sooner people realize it we would live in peace you know someone has to say it stops with me if you go eye for an eye if you go if you go eye for an eye guess what it will be for infinity eye for an eye and then this person goes eye for an eye and then this person goes eye for an eye it's infinite right but when it stops eye for an eye okay i sit back and let karma deal with you i will choose myself i will not destroy myself for another person that that is the best revenge take it from me i've done it a million times <laughs> you know what i mean now i feel like I've, I've talked about that enough so let's see the advice i feel like i've already given you advice but let's see is there advice for cancer <clears throat> Don't be afraid to speak your truth, but never say more than you mean. Never say more than you mean. Because when you want to express yourself, make sure that it is coming from the heart and it's not coming from the mind. I see that your career, your money will have a good impact. And I also see new love. yeah look at that the moment things get better for you in your career and you find someone interesting you'll be like well what why was i even mad about that person or that situation that you wanted to take revenge uh with or upon right the hangman will be like the hangman energy is like this illumination this um uh, revelation or the uh, new perspective the moment your career and your love life goes really well you'll be like what was i why would why would i why would i compromise for like why would i 
what's what's the sentence I'm looking for? Like, why would I be stupid to go for revenge when my life is so good? Like, I have actually a lot to lose. Why would I just toss that aside just to be one up on that person or that situation that hurt me? You know, you will receive that perspective. So in so many ways, it's telling you, Cancer, be aware of your mood swings and be aware of your sensitivity because it will be heightened during this time. But choose the good. Okay, so even when it's heightened, you can make it a good experience. So don't focus on the bad. Leave the bad for karma, for karma to deal with and enjoy the good. You know what I mean? Best of luck, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, it'll be uh, such an interesting um, next seven months, I guess. Whew, that was a long reading, but I'll see you guys soon.